Bryce, the microphones are on now. <laughs> yeah, okay. I get that. Well, good morning, guys. Welcome to chapel. I see everybody except for two are allergic to sitting in the front few rows of the chapel. So thank you, ladies, for, for taking some seats up front. Last night, uh, some of these seniors had their capstone projects and presentations. So we thought we'd have a couple of them come back and just share some words of wisdom and insight from their past four years at Unity as we get ready for graduation here on Thursday. So we've got just some questions for them to answer as they kind of talk through the past four years and just, yeah, wisdom and insight that they've gleaned here from their four years. So let's just open here with a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for this morning. On a, on a rainy morning, we just know that your mercies are new every morning, and we think of your faithfulness. We think of this senior class and the faithfulness that you have shown them over these past four years as they look forward to new horizons and exciting things to come. We just thank you for the ways that they've impacted our school for the past few years. Um, be with them in this summertime as they prepare for next steps. Um, we think, too, of Josh as well, as um, you can't be with us. And we just ask you to continue to be with the Beltmans as well as they go through this process. Uh, be with us in this time. Calm our nerves up here on stage and just give us a, a time to honor you and glorify you as well. We ask all of this in your son's name. Amen. So seniors, graduation this week. Exciting? Woot woot. Woot woot indeed. Thank you, Bryce. What have been some of your favorite memories or highlights from the past four years? Uh, I would say anything FFA, uh, any trip we've gone on. I mean, Mr. Benson's a pretty funny guy. Uh, does some pretty dumb stuff at some times, but it's always for the better. Uh, and then like any sports I've been in, I know football was a big one for me. Uh, just seeing the program change for the better. And yeah, those are probably some of my best memories here at Unity. Um, I'd say for me, um, anything cross country, um, just being part of the team and then just some of the stupid stuff we've kind of done. Um, I would say probably my favorite memories were just simply like building a lot of new friendships as I went into high school. Um, yeah, obviously I didn't really know any of like the Sioux Center people and stuff like that and it was good to be able to build those relationships with them and also a really big highlight that I had senior year was um, in basketball winning the game versus Cherokee. I would have to say my favorite memories came from cross country as well. Um, I really enjoyed carpooling on um, my senior and junior year. That was a lot of fun. I made a lot of good memories with those girls. So I would say that was probably my favorite part of high school. Awesome. Thank you. So you guys came in um, as freshmen. Now you're leaving here as seniors. How have you seen Unity shape you over the past four years? Um, I would say my faith has definitely grown here. Um, it's really great just to have a Christian education and just have all of my classes um, be centered around Christ, and it has just really helped shape my worldview, I would say, these past four years. And I would say, um, yeah, there's been a, like multiple things that have shaped me all throughout Unity. Um, some big things have been like the chapels here. I, I'm just one that I really enjoy to worship through song, and so that was, yeah, that was just one thing that has really impacted me. Um, but also just like building relationships with the teachers as well. I, yeah, I'm going to miss them a lot. And they've, yeah, they've really, I don't know, they go into your life and they, they care about you personally. And yeah, I also really like them as teachers, obviously, too. Um, and a lot of them are coaches, you know, too. So I, yeah, I appreciate that a lot. And they have, um, yeah, definitely help shape me for who I am today. Um, Unity has definitely changed me. So I came from uh, the public school over into Unity just before freshman year started. Um, I definitely wouldn't be the same person without Unity. I wouldn't know God near as much and I wouldn't have a passion for him um, near as much uh, if I hadn't come to Unity. Uh, Unity has definitely shaped me because my freshman year, I definitely would not think I would be up here like today giving this. I was such in a little shell that I would barely talk to anyone and it was not very outgoing. So Unity's kind of brought out the best of me and made me who I am today, but it's also helped me in my spiritual walk as well with the uh, spiritual renewal weeks and the chapels and the Bible classes and all that. 
I'm very surprised to hear that you were in a shell as a freshman, Bryce. It seems I very, was very opposite, terrified. very opposite of where you're at right now. But <laughs> we're glad that you've come out of your shell the past couple of years. As you think kind of about our our chapel theme this year, deeply rooted. How have you seen yourself rooted um, in different things, good or bad, over your time in high school? Um, my freshman year, uh, I was in a friend group that maybe kind of got started into bad things and uh, I kind of got myself out of that because I knew it was going to be bad and but even though maybe they got caught this year uh, it still hurt me a lot of because they're really my brothers and I love them so much so I mean uh, stay out of bad things because it will come back to bite you in the butt it might seem all fine and dandy at the time but don't it's not worth it guys seriously and I would uh, I also got rooted deeply in my Christ and faith because I've grown so much closer to the Lord over the past few years that I would uh, definitely say I've grown in that. Um, I've definitely seen myself deeply rooted um, just through all the different Bible classes that um, we take here at Unity and just um, being more rooted into the Bible um, all throughout high school and it's um, it's just been an amazing thing to really experience. Um, I would say some things that I've been deeply rooted in my past four years have, um, yeah, been on sports teams, a lot of them, being able to build relationships with people on the sports teams, and, yeah, with like I said before, with coaches as well. Um, and, yeah, I guess as well as just, like, being a part of Unity and involved in different activities that Unity has to provide, like, yeah, just being involved in the chapels and being on the sports teams or just different activities that, yeah, you might be involved in. It's it's just a really good way that um, I personally have felt like I've been deeply rooted, and that obviously included a lot of people coming alongside me, too, and I definitely couldn't have done it by myself. Um, I talked about this in my capstone last night, but when I started high school, I was definitely a very fearful person. I was very scared, and I didn't want to, like, get to know people and stuff, so I would say I was rooted in fear at the beginning of my high school career, but just over these past four years as I've made friends and they've encouraged me and helped me, I've definitely found that it's important to be rooted in Christ, and that is the only place that I can find peace. So, well, Thank you, Sarah. You know, as you guys think about these past four years, I'm sure you guys have had a lot of life lessons. I know, Bryce, you mentioned learning some things early on in high school. What advice would you guys have for the, the rest of the student body as you guys are just about ready to graduate? I have two things. One, I would say just try things. Even if you're nervous or you're not sure that you'd be good at it, one of my greatest regrets is not ever trying cast. I always thought that would be fun, and I didn't do it, but... And I would also say go to state because it's really fun. So it's a good time. Um, I would say, yeah, some advice that I would give is, um, so I personally, I can't get grades easily. Like I have to work for them. And yeah, just school just doesn't come easy to me. So I would just say, um, yeah, work your hardest, but also don't compare yourself to others because it's it's hard for me as like, you know, just having smart friends and stuff, it is hard not to compare yourself. So, um, yeah, just know that all you can do is your best and, yeah, put in as much time and effort as you need to and that you want to and, yeah, just give it your best and don't try to compare yourself with your other your other friends. Um, so. Um, I'd say just be nice to everyone. I mean, it, it does really change, like, how people see you. Not only how people see you, but it just changes... Um, just the atmosphere that um, you give off and in the school. And then probably another um, thing that I, uh, advice that I have is um, all those Bible classes that sometimes, you know, we think, yeah, they're boring. We keep, we've heard them for ever since we started school. Um, really pay attention, to, uh, really pay attention to them because they can actually really change your life. Um, I would say don't be afraid to try things and don't be afraid to excel in something. Uh, because I know I wish I would have done a lot of things in high school, a lot more than I had, and I could have excelled in them, but I was too scared to do it because I was scared of what other people thought, so don't be afraid of what other people think, and 
also just have fun. Uh, high school flies by. I mean, I look back in freshman year, uh, I thought it was going to be forever, but now looking back on it, it went so fast, and it's going to be uh, sad when I have to graduate and move on. There's one thing I remember about Bryce Hoyting, it's that that dude loves to have fun. Always got a smile, always cracking jokes. This guy right here loves fun. I think last week, um, Mr. Dykstra and I and a couple students, we went up to Rochester to go see the Beltmans. And I remember Dylan DeYoung um, asked us in the car, asked Mr. Dykstra, what do you remember about each graduating class? Do you remember you know, specific people and events from those years? Or is it just more kind of general themes and, and temperaments of each class? Mr. Dykstra shared that just with so many students that he's seen graduate over the year. It's hard to remember some of those specifics, but, but he does remember kind of general themes from each of those classes. What do you want us as a school to remember about you and your graduating class? What kind of mark do you think you guys have left on the school? I think we left the mark on the school that we're kind of the fun class. We're not afraid to go out and have some fun. Uh, so I mean, we're always, our class is always laughing and we're always making jokes. Sometimes the teachers hate us a lot of the times because we do that, but it was still a lot of fun to be in class with my classmates and yeah. Um, one thing that I'd hope that you guys would remember about our graduating class would um, just our faith that um, we have in God and just that um, we're not afraid to show it. Um, I would hope that you underclassmen would think that our class was leaders to you guys. Um, yeah, I guess I tried to do my best throughout the years um, of, yeah, just trying to be a Christ-like model to, um, yeah, the people that I interact with, and I definitely got that from upperclassmen, and I just knew that that was impactful for me. So, um, yeah, I hope that you guys got that from us and um, just had, like, really simply just had a joy being with us in school. I hope that it was, um, I hope that it was just enjoyable, so. Um, what I have to say is similar to Justine. I just hope we were good leaders to you guys and that we were good to you, um, you guys, the younger kids. And um, I just hope also that you will remember that we, were, that we were a good example and that you will remember that we were Christ-like, so. So as this season kind of comes to a close and this new one begins, I'm sure there's, a lot of emotions and a whole mixture of things going on. And for you guys as seniors, you've been finishing this journey uh, with one of your good friends and, and brothers in Christ. What has that been like for you guys this year as seniors? It's been really hard and sad. Like we miss him a lot and we wish that he could be here with us, but it has been very encouraging just to see how we have been able to come together as a school, just to encourage him, like all the notes that we've written and all the, just the different things that we've done, so yeah. Yeah, so obviously with, yeah, without Josh being here these past couple of months, it has obviously been hard. Um, and yeah, being a part of a close friend group of his, it's been, yeah, it's been really tough. And being a friend of Laura's on the golf team and stuff, it's, yeah, it's, it's hard. But it's also been very encouraging to me because I've seen, yeah, I've seen some things that Josh has done and how he's handled some things and he's giving it to the Lord and that's, that is encouraging to me, only because I know this is such a big thing. Obviously, it's so much bigger than anything I've ever had to go through. And if he's giving that to the Lord, I can, I can definitely give the little things to the Lord as well. And so, yeah, and it's also just been really encouraging to be, um, yeah, getting encouraged from Laura. And I've, I've been doing my best to give encouragement to her um, because, yeah, we're going to get through this. And um, God's got this. Um, for me, it's been, it's been very encouraging to see that um, just Josh, he has just an amazing faith in God, and he, he, um, he just gives everything to him, even in this um, harder time, this challenging time. Um, just he puts his complete faith in God, and that's just um, something that I definitely especially look up to, and just um, I think that's so awesome that he can do that. Uh, wrapping up this year has been quite fun because the last couple of weeks in my study hall third period, I have a lot of seniors in it. Uh, we haven't had a lot of homework to do because, yeah, senior year, you kind of don't get a lot of homework at the end. 
Uh, but we have been talking a lot about like our years and just some memories that we have, and we've literally been laughing like the whole study hall all the time just because it's they're just funny memories of us and all that. So we're looking back at all of our journey that we had, and it's been a fun ride, and we're excited for it to end, but also not excited to close the yearbook at the same time. Well, I think we as a school just want to thank you guys as seniors, you four, but then your whole senior class as well. Um, just myself being here just for my first year, it's been great to get to know you guys as seniors, just to see your passion, your energy, and your spunk, and we're excited to see where the Lord takes all of you um, these next couple years and see the plans that he has for you. So let's just close this time with a word of prayer. Father, we thank you again for this morning. We thank you for our seniors. Lord, we know that you have so many things ahead for them, all of the joys of life, but the challenges and the hardships. And Lord, we just commit them to you, and we just ask that they would cling to you, that they would find their identity first and foremost in you. Lord, we love you, and we love these seniors, and we're so thankful for the opportunity to be with them um, for these past four years. Bless them on their journeys to come. We ask all of this in your son's name. Amen. You guys are dismissed.